Hi again, so I'm going to be doing a pinup look, so here's how it looks. It's one of those like really cute basic um, pinup looks. Um, also, I'm really excited about this. They're so cute. This is um, Goldie in Charlie, and I love the packaging. I think it's adorable. So, um, this is something that's very like doable for every day. I used to do this a lot when I waitressed, just because it was really easy, and it's low maintenance, and it's not, it like goes with everything, because it's very like... It's a neutral base look, but it makes you look super cute and makes your eyes look like this. So, um, first you're going to want to get out a paint pot. I use, I'm use i using Paint Julie by MAC. It's um, a neutral base one, so it's like, it's just like, oh, it's almost lighter than my skin tone. You can almost, I've used this as concealer before, which I know you're not supposed to do, but like, whatever. So, I'm just going over my lid, and then you're dabbing up towards your brow and kind of patting around to make sure it. You mostly want to concentrate it right above your lid, so you've got that down. Um, and then you're going to want to go over your lid right here. This is in vanilla, but you can use um, shroom is a good one to use, um, rice paper, naked lunch. Those are all really good MAC colors to use. I use a lot of MAC. I think I, I love MAC. I think it's adorable. So you just really want to pack it on there because it's like, it's going to be your primary. So we're just packing it along the lid, like right here. And this is my handy dandy shadow brush. Um, all of my brushes are MAC, but I'm looking into Sigma brushes right now because they're supposed to be just about the same quality and they're a lot cheaper than MAC. And then um, this is called Gesso by MAC. I, it's in the palette, but um, I took it out because I don't have a big one to show you it's a super white like that is the whitest color I think they make so you're just gonna really concentrate it along your um, crease right here or like right above the crease and then just kind of go out really lightly this is the 217 brush that I make it's a big fluffy brush so we're gonna go across and up so yeah it feels a little um sound like if you use it across your lid, so I usually use it above there. And then this is the smaller 217 brush, but I just use it for darker colors, so I don't have to look at my brushes. And this is Gleam. It's like a, it's glimmery peachy, it's got, um, it's a, it's got a little more glitter in it, so it gives your eye a little more dimension, and we're just going to use this kind of in the corner right here and going up, just so your eye has a little bit more dimension to it. So we're going through the corner and then up. There we go. And then to get that like classic pinup look, we're going to use um, a black liner to go across. Um, and the bigger the wings are, the more retro it'll feel. But I just kind of like having a small one. I don't like having the giant wings. <laughs> it looks like that to me. <laughs> um, and this is the penultimate eye liner in Rapid Black. It's the only one that MAC makes right now. Um, CoverGirl makes one as well. Or you can use um, Black Track, with, which is a um, gel liner. I usually start in the middle with mine and then go out and then go back in to do the inner corner of my eye. So This is just really easy to use and it stays on really well and the color is really like, it's like a bright black so it shows up really well. And then we're going to throw on some mascara, just like that. You really want to, since you're using a very dark black right above your eye, you really want to like wiggle your mascara wand to get it to be up. This is Max Factor Volume Couture in Rich Black. Um, this is my favorite drugstore mascara, and it's one of my favorite mascaras in general. Um, I, use, I use a lot of um, Benefits Bad Gal Lash, um, Rapid Black Max, and um, the Christian Dior um, waterproof one. Those are all really good. Um, and I do have fake lashes on this one. I'm not going to do them for this one just so you can uh, like tell. That they actually look pretty big right now. Um, another part of look, having that pinup look is having bright red lips. And the reason you do a neutral up here is so you can do big red lips right here. So you're going to line the outside of your lips right here. And this is like a, uh, it's more of a red tone. So I usually just line the outside of my lips and then kind of dab on the inside, just have some color. And I have really big lips so I don't have to define them too much because they take up enough of my face. And this is MAC in Brick. So we're going to do that. Um, this is Full of Flare. This is one of MAC's um, 
one of Max lip stains, which they put out for the art supplies collection. And I hadn't seen lip stains by Mac almost ever, so I really excited and bought a bunch of these. I got them in every color actually. So, <laughs> um, lip lip stains and lip liner are really good ways to keep your lips going all day. See, they pop so much more. And then just to have a little bit of flair to it, you just want to dab a lipstick over it. And this is a really cute like corally color. This is made to order. And you just go really lightly over it. That's cute. Alright, so um, yeah, that's my really quick, very short five minute um, makeup look. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks, guys. Bye.